Hello gamers, uh, Pet here. Welcome to a first look at a game called Panzer Tactics HD. The first thing that I have to mention is that <laughs> it's, it's a little bit awkward, but I can't find the options menu in the home screen. There is an options menu, but it's that menu is only available when you are actually in the game, which is kind of weird. I know that someone is going to hate that. <laughs> Second, I have a 16.10 monitor and the game uh, kind of uh, automatically sets up to my height of the monitor. So this is why you see the black bars on the sides of the video. It's not because of you. If you have a 16.9 monitor, it should be fine because the whole interface and the whole game scales up. Anyway, this is not how I usually want to start talking about games, you know, talking about options menu and other stuff like that. Anyway, I'm recording this video about one hour before the game launch, so they might have a patch or something that they, they are going to release and maybe add an option menu here or whatever. Anyway, what is Panzer Tactics HD? Uh, I will just go directly into the campaign. You can play with Axis, Soviets and Allies. Let's start with the Axis. Um, I came, I already started, uh, I, I've done the first campaign, but I want to start again. Good morning to the Lieutenant, blah, 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 skip tutorial. And uh, let's just go inside the Blitzkrieg. Okay, 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 okay. So basically, it's uh, it's <laughs> you you've seen this type of games before. It's like it's a little bit like Panzer General. Depends on how what you want to compare it or not. Uh, the first mission is going to be in Vars Varsovia. We call it Varsovia, Warsaw, or however we call it in English. Anyway, let's just uh, continue. And um, as you can see, ah, Lieutenant, I see that you go through your training all right. You'll be pleased to know that you won't have the word long but skill to the test. It's kind of, uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this type of pleasantries when you are being introduced to the campaign. Everything I'm about to tell you is, of course, strictly confidential. The race, the race is planning an offensive against Poland, will be begin soon. Okay. So basically, um, Let's just start the game. You can place, um, you can basically place the units before, and this is basically the mission overview. So, if in order to receive three stars, you have, uh, you need to have victory by eleven days, right? Kind of uh, straightforward there. So this is Warsaw, Warsawia, depends on how you call it, and these are my units. And the first thing I have to mention is that the game is looking fairly decent. Uh, since this type of games, you're going to spend a lot of time in the interface and looking at the graphics, moving the units, uh, right-clicking and uh, doing stuff like that. <coughs> it's important for the game to look pleasant. And um, it's not the best, but it's okay. I'm not complaining about that. The reason why I'm mentioning this is that there is uh, another game called uh, Conflict of Heroes, which is basically... Um, the PC version of the board game and that game I'm not sure exactly why they went for 3D graphics and the whole game looks freaking awful. Enough about that game, I will cover that game in another video but this is what I have to say. I appreciate that they have they, they went for these 2D sprites graphics which uh, look uh, decent. So anyway, what um, what's going to happen? We have these units, uh, we have this uh, uh, this 80 gun, anti tank gun, which basically has these stats. As you can see, it's very good versus tanks, so so versus infantry, and so on. We have some Messerschmitt, which are very good. They are fight. They are fighter pilots, basically that fight, you know, other planes. While um, the Zhu, the Stuka, is a bomber, so they bomb stuff. And as you can see, they have very high stats versus tanks. And so on. So uh, overall, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to move the plane over here. As you can see, he's moving. I'm going to accept. And uh, from what I remember, yeah, um, they have like two planes. Uh, and when I say planes, I mean not planes as in 
planes that fly as in basically you can switch between uh, change view you go you can go from to view the top or to view the ground units so i knew that there is a unit uh, there which i will be able to attack next round let's see we have a panzer tree uh, let's advance with it right click okay let's advance with those uh, those units advance over here bam we found another unit advance with attack the tank on top uh, and we can attack so you can see we are going to make two casual uh, two casualties we are going to take two casualties so it's going to be an equal fight but i'm going to do it i can then turn attack or change the view no i'm going to attack So pretty straightforward, I think you are all pretty familiar with this type of games, I don't want to make this video too long anyway. But from what I've seen, it's actually pretty decent overall, you have a weather system, but what's more important, let's uh, have a look at the headquarters. So basically, whenever you capture one of these key locations, you will gain this uh, type of points on top, and with, the, with this type of points, you will be able to purchase units. As you can see, so let's purchase some. Um, let's purchase this unit. I'm going to apply. I'm going to recruit and place the unit, and I'm going to place it over here. So this is how it goes. Also, units. Uh, the longer you fight with the units, it will um, it will level up. It will get gain experience. And when you move to the next uh, scenario of the campaign, the same unit will continue with uh, that experience. So you want to try to avoid uh, having too many casualties and other stuff. Like that. And you want to to promote your units and you want to take care of your units in order to be successful overall. So let's go back um, back to the menu because there is no point to actually show you all the how to play the game. It's straightforward. If you play Panzer General in gen, uh, play Panzer General or other type of games like this, it's kind of like that, right? We also have a campaign with the Soviets. Uh, let's start a new game just for the fun. The Great Patriotic War. Blah 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 blah. Saving, as you can see, again a setup of. Um, of uh, scenarios that are going to be part of the of this campaign uh, let's start and see how the map looks hello com uh, comrade <laughs> comrade commander did you have a pleasant journey from the military academy ah i talk too much you see it's <laughs> it's it's a little bit more cheesy somehow cheesy but anyway <laughs> uh, continue 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 so you see the maps are pretty pretty big overall so you are going to take a lot of decisions. Uh, you see more planes, more, uh, more tanks. Uh, let's start the game just for fun. Let's end the turn, just because because we can end the turn and see what the enemy is going to do. If he's going to attack us. The tank is coming. Ambush. I think that was kind of a stupid move. Wasn't this kind of a stupid move for for the AI to come over here, right where where I have so many units? Because oh, they have a um, holy shit! That that was kind of a big hit. Oh my god, that was like a huge hit. I lost the whole unit. So maybe that wasn't that stupid. The thing is that he kind of moved close to me, and I can fire with. Oh, they even have planes. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. This is one of the downsides of this type of games is that you have to do a lot of waiting when the AI is moving. Uh, but I think you can you can speed things up. And oh, by the way, this is the options menu. You can access this uh, from here, but not from the other menu, from the start menu, right? So let's do some fire. I'm not doing any damage. Jesus. Oh, maybe this one is better. Yeah, four, four casualties. Boom. This is an, this is an AA, and I can attack this six. Casualties. All right, that's good. That's good. Two casualties for them. This is a bomber, I believe. Uh, yes. Just go there, and yeah, he can. He can attack. Boom. And then let's take this dude and try to attack. I'm mean, I'm going to lose uh, one extra unit, so I don't want to do that. So, kind of straightforward. In case you play you, you play this game, um, this type of games before, it's you know in a way kind of like that. 
there are also different uh, type of scenarios scenario statistics campaign statistics uh, in case you like statistics let's look at the scenarios a little bit uh, new scenario uh, which are the thing is that the scenarios that you see here are basically the same from um, from the campaign so i'm a little bit confused but anyway uh, this game uh, will come out right now on steam on 22 may 2014 try it out and see if you like it uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you if not write in the comments below if it was helpful to you again write in the comments below don't forget to go to gamerpad.com giveaway for a chance to win um, games i'm doing uh, different type of uh, giveaways anyway thank you guys for watching see you soon goodbye <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my